Traumatic photo shows the horror of Great War, Western Front. Frank Hurley was an Australian photographer who became the Australian Imperial Forces second official war photographer. When he arrived at the Western Front his rank was honorary captain, but the troops, seeing how he took risks to get his pictures, dubbed him the Mad Photographer. His job was to document the war effort, to provide images to the media, and to capture the heroism of the Australians to show those back home. What he captured, however, was hell on earth. He shot photographs of battles and their haunting aftermath and was horrified by the scenes of blood, death, and devastation that were so common on the Western Front. This photo collection from the Third Battle of Ypres, 1917, part of State Library of New South Wales, is accompanied by a few excerpts from Hulley's diary, in which he describes his war experiences in detail, including the horrors he witnesses, the devastation, the pity he feels for the German soldiers, his disgust with the war and frustration over his photo techniques. In keeping with his adventurous spirit, Hurley took considerable risks to photograph his subjects, also producing many rare panoramic and color photographs of the conflict. His famous black and white photographs of lonely soldiers and desolate landscapes are shocking and moving, but some have also been called fake, even though he was there. During this time, Hurley clashed with the official historian, Captain Charles Bean, about truth and photography. They had both been appointed by the Australian War Records section of the Australian Imperial Force, AFE, to document the war for posterity. Hurley, having assessed his task over a number of weeks, argued that it was impossible to capture the essence of what he saw in a single negative. He wrote, None but those who have endeavored can realize the insurmountable difficulties of portraying a modern battle by the camera. To include the event in a single negative, I have tried and tried, but the results are hopeless. Now, if negatives are taken of all the separate incidents in the action and combined, some idea may then be gained of what a modern battle looks like. Bean, however, was not convinced and referred to the images as fakes, he believed that photographs were sacred records and should allow future generations to see the plain, simple truth. Hurley stood his ground but eventually resigned when he was ordered not to produce composite images. In total, he photographed the Western Front for three months before moving to the Middle East where he photographed the activities of the Australian Mounted Division. Between 1915 and 1917 there were several offensives along the Western Front. The attacks employed massive artillery bombardments and massed infantry advances. Entrenchments, machine gun emplacements, barbed wire, and artillery repeatedly inflicted severe casualties during attacks and counter-attacks and no significant advances were made. Among the most costly of these offensives were the Battle of Verdun, in 1916, with a combined 700,000 casualties, the Battle of the Somme, also in 1916, with more than a million casualties, and the Battle of Passchendaele, in 1917, with 487,000 casualties. By 1917, the size of the British Army on the Western Front had grown to two-thirds the total numbers in the French forces. In April 1917 the BEF began the Battle of Arras. The Canadian Corps and the 5th Division attacked German lines at Vimy Ridge, capturing the heights and the 1st Army to the south achieved the deepest advance since trench. Warfare began. Later attacks were confronted by German reinforcements defending the area using the lessons learned on the Somme in 1916. British attacks were contained and, according to Gary Sheffield, a greater rate of daily loss was inflicted on the British than in any other major battle. To like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel.